good belief. And I think that showed itself in the first half. We had to change our tactics slightly, had to be a little bit more defensively minded to stop the midfield runners. Uh, and I think we played, again, very well in the first half. Um, we made a couple of chances, probably the better chances out of the two teams in the first half and could possibly have gone in ahead. Second half we come out, tie end up the ante, um, and we make three, possibly four individual errors. Um, very frustrating, but at this level, you make a small, tiny little error against a team like this, and you get punished. Um, three, four chances in the whole half, three goals from four chances. Frustrating, very frustrating. Um, and, you know, difficult to take, because for large parts of the game tonight, we played very well. Um, and it's disappointing. But it is what it is. Uh, we have to pick ourselves up, we have to move on, and, and we have to go and find a way now. So, that's what we do. Oke, okay, uh, pertama-tama kita mulai dengan mental yang sangat bagus ya. Kita percaya bahwa pertama kita bermain sangat baik. Lagi-lagi bahwa pertama kita main sangat baik. Tapi di awal pertandingan kita rubah sedikit. Kita bermain agak sedikit lebih defensif, memperkuat lini tengah supaya uh, mereka tidak banyak uh, bisa bermain di situ. Terus uh, pada babak kedua mungkin uh, kesalahan sendiri yang membuat kita kalah. Uh, mungkin juga ada tiga sampai empat uh, kesalahan individu yang kita buat frustasi memang cuma di level internasional kita tidak bisa membuat kesalahan kesalahan kecil bisa sangat sangat uh, menyakitkan uh, babak pertama tadi kita luar biasa ya bagus mungkin di antara kedua tim tim kita lebih banyak mendapatkan peluang terus uh, tadi juga ada sayang sekali tiga sampai empat peluang yang kita tidak bisa mencetak uh, gol Terus frustasi memang uh, susah untuk diterima, tetapi kita harus uh, move on, melangkah ke depan. Uh, like the coach said, I think we played very well first half. Uh, we had a lot of fighting spirit within ourselves. We played a bit defensive, but with good counter attacks. Uh, it is just a little bit of, in my opinion, uh, focus. I don't want to blame any players, but we knew what was coming. Uh, how they, uh, where the strengths were, and and how they should score, uh, could score goals, and it happened. Uh, that's why we are feel uh, really frustrated, like the coach said. Um, yeah, at the end we have to be realistic as well. Uh, we were the underdog. Uh, we gave our all, and we will not give up and and fight until uh, the last chances we have. Uh, even though it's gonna be away now. Uh, I still believe in the, in our team, and I'm very proud of our team, and uh, we have to move on. Okay, uh, seperti yang berarti, setuju bahwa pertama kita main bagus. Uh, kita lawan tim yang sulit, punya pengalaman. Uh, saya rasa tim sudah berusaha, uh, bermain agak sedikit defensif memang. Tetapi kita tadi berhasil menciptakan peluang dari beberapa serangan balik. Terus, uh, opini saya tidak mau menyalahkan pemain lah, secara individu, tetapi mungkin tadi kita kurang fokus, uh, dia nggak mau salahin siapapun. Kita lawan tim yang berpengalaman, kita tahu mereka akan datang dan menyerang kita. Makanya tadi seperti yang kita juga kita frustasi, tetapi kita harus realistis. Kita tadi masuk ke lapangan sebagai underdog, tetapi kita memberikan semua yang kita bisa. Uh, saya percaya tetap dengan tim, mungkin sekarang tinggal away game. Tapi uh, tetap percaya. Okay. Uh, before we start for the Q&A, I just to remind you all, uh, when you are strong patient. Okay. Uh, sorry, Yeah, Silakan. Uh, Halo, pertanyaannya adalah, Coach, uh, dengan situasi yang tidak mendukung, supporter tidak ada uh, artinya kedua mereka kecewa, pasti kecewa di Indonesia yang pertama uh, apakah anda masih merasa layak untuk memimpin di Indonesia? terima kasih oke, okay, uh, terima 
Supporters will always have their opinion. That's it's no problem. That's part of the job. I come into this job representing 247 million people. They're all not going to have the same opinion that I do. They're all not going to agree with some of the things I do and some of the decisions I make. This is football. This is how it is. It's no surprise. What I do find quite incredible is the expectation put upon these players. I understand this is home. But these guys are still mid-season playing ridiculous amounts of games. And then they're coming against better opposition. They put up a hell of a fight. And a really good fight. Get caught out by a very good team with a guy that plays centre midfield as one of the best players in Japan. And we get booed. I think that's phenomenal. I genuinely do. And I'm, I'm in my own abilities, I'm more than confident to take this team forward. What I am a little bit concerned about is the reality of what happens outside the, the, the stadium. And the, the expectation for all these players is astronomical and is really not realistic. If we want to talk realistic, then I would love to be able to do that. But if we're just going to talk like, oh, do you mean, coach, we're not going to win the World Cup? Then we're not on the same planet. Oke okay, ya, kecewa ya tentu saja. Setiap orang punya opini, tentu supporter juga punya opini. Uh, saya di sini mewakili 250 juta penduduk dan mungkin nggak semuanya uh, punya opini yang sama dengan saya. Uh, saya tahu ini adalah sepak bola, sepak bola ya memang seperti ini. Saya sudah uh, tahu akan kejadian seperti ini. Uh, terus yang buat saya khawatir adalah reputasi, reputasi dan ekspektasi di luar. Uh, kita tahu kita main home dan ketika para pemain diteriaki atau dibu oleh supporter sendiri ketika mereka keluar dan berjuang dan bermain tadi dan mereka tahu perjuangan yang sangat bagus ya uh, jangan lupa pemain tadi itu keluar lawan salah satu pemain terbaik di Liga Jepang ya uh, terus jangan lupa juga pemain itu sekarang masih mid season di Indonesia dengan jadwal yang begitu padat ya. Uh, ada sedikit kaget tadi dengan comohan dari supporter tetapi pelatih dia percaya dengan kemampuannya dia uh, dia sangat percaya cuman uh, realitas di luar ekspektasi kadang-kadang tidak realistis tidak realistis kalau bisa realistis mungkin ayo kita coba tetapi kalau misalnya uh, supporter uh, mengeluh coach kok kita akan menang piala dunia mungkin uh, kita tidak ada di planet yang sama Halo Bro, saya Manji dari Tribun News uh, Pertanyaan awal, pertanyaan kita kalah dari Malaysia 32 Sekarang kita kembali kalah Jadi pertanyaan ini kita akan diajarkan bagaimana cara passing yang benar, kontrol yang benar Dribble yang benar dan cara menjalan dan bertahan yang benar Menurut Coach, apa yang harus di tempat apa yang harus diperbaiki lagi Mengingat ada masih ada beberapa pertandingan away Kamu lagi? This is Thailand. You, you realize we play Thailand, right? This is a team that has two guys that play in the Japanese league because they're so good. They're, they're, they're a good team and I like watching them play as well. But, you know, let's, let's, let's not get too carried away supporting Thailand, shall we? They are a good team. We have to go out and try and play them. We have to go and pick ourselves up from a defeat where it disappointed a lot of people. But we played well for a good part of that Malaysia, uh, Malaysia game. We got tired towards the end, the whole country goes crazy, they're not happy about, understandable, okay, fair enough. But players have to be then professional and pick themselves up. They can't sit about, oh, oh no, it's Malaysia, good. We have to then forget about that and move on in the space of three or four days. And then the expectation for us to then go beat Thailand is phenomenal. Like I say, it's, it's it lacks reality, unfortunately, it lacks reality. I understand the frustrations, I genuinely do. But there has to be a reality to, yeah. to understand the situation. Okay, uh, 
Thailand, Thailand saya nak ngajar kita apa-apa. Tadi itu Thailand tim yang uh, dia datang dengan dua, salah satu dua pemain terbaik mereka yang main di Liga Jepang. Ya, timnya memang bagus, saya suka nonton dia, bagus. Tetapi uh, uh, di sini kita kan habis kemarin kalah lawan Malaysia. Tetapi lawan Malaysia kita hampir sepanjang pertandingan kita main bagus. Bahkan sampai di akhir kita masih seri lawan Malaysia. Terus setelah itu kita harus 3-4 hari harus menemukan motivasi supaya bisa bangkit untuk lawan Thailand. Nah di saat yang sama para supporter mungkin kecewa ketika sampai di akhir itu seri baru kok seri sih coach lawan Malaysia ya. Setelah itu walaupun kita kalah kita harus tetap menemukan motivasi. Nah sekarang uh, setelah kita kalah lawan Malaysia supporter uh, punya ekspektasi harus kalahkan Thailand. Thailand kan tim tim besar <tuh> ya. Uh, saya rasa sekarang harus ada uh, ekspektasinya harus dilihat lagi harus bisa dilihat sesuai nggak dengan realitas yang ada dengan realitas yang ada ekspektasi. Oke. Okay. Saya Abdul Haris dari Aljus Al Al uh, Saya mengerti bahwa Thailand tim yang besar. Then, Papi, we're going to be a new coach. They still have the same players, they're still the same playing style. So, uh, one, two touch football, trying to pass the ball, bounce the ball around. With a new Japanese coach, possibly a new shapes and possible new ideas, we thought it was an opportunity. Um, but, again, my job is to work in the real. And coming off the back of a result like that, to then take it to one of the best positions, best playing possession teams in the area causes us a problem. So in the first half we make the decision we sit a little bit deeper and try and play into wide areas because the back four play very tight together and they always give you space in wide areas. And one thing we do have in this country is very good wingers. We have guys who are very capable in wide areas. So the aim of the game was to try and keep the middle of the pitch very tight, very difficult for them which we did very successfully in the first half and then moved the ball into wide areas as quickly as we could probably a little bit quicker than we normally would would like a little bit more possession but against Thailand we knew that we would be pressed we knew they would come after us so we would need to move the ball forward a little bit quicker so a little change in strategy and a little bit, a little bit of a change in tactic today um, we'd like to have been a little bit more direct once we had the ball at our feet I think there were still times where we got the ball into wide areas and still look to make a pass backwards, possibly, or sideways when uh, you want your more attacking players to, to take the full back on and, and try and get a crossing or, or even try and get in on, on the front post. Um, credit to Thailand in the second half, they made, it, they made it a lot harder for us, a couple of little changes, made it, made it quite difficult for us to play, so we had to pass the ball a little bit more through the midfield. And as the game started to stretch, they dropped off to try and stop the balls over the top. We had a lot of success trying to play through the middle. Um, and everyone got on the ball a lot, a lot better and played into better feet. So, still work to be done. I mean, we're, we're making judgments on a team that's been together six months and a change of coach. Um, and I, I do remember when I was in coach with Brian Cara, there were some particularly nasty messages aimed at Lewis Miller around about this time in his career as well. So, a change is always difficult. And for players, it's something they need to learn and, and get used to, and there needs to be a development period as well. But expectation, while there is that development period, is very difficult to manage. It's a difficult thing. And in order to get better, we must make mistakes. We must lose. Um, unfortunately, the last two games have been a loss. But professionally, we have to go, look at it, watch the videos, learn. Uh, and then try and take it to UAE when we go there. That's, that's all professional players can do. <coughs> okay, ya. Uh, hari ini Thailand uh, bermain dengan transisi yang sangat baik. Kita pikul. Um, and Andrew Tani plays for procedure as well, so he's used to playing in front of full stadiums. And the thing with goalkeepers is, for me, is probably the hardest position on the pitch. Because if he doesn't do anything or wins the game, doesn't touch the ball, he gets patted on the back and got told he done well. He's done nothing. He can make four or five saves, make one mistake and it's a goal. 
It's the only position on the pitch where you make one mistake and it's guaranteed to be a goal. Everybody else can make a mistake because they've got a line, a line of defence behind them. But goalkeepers constantly live on this edge. This uh, one minute they're heroes, the next minute the, the crowd don't like them. And the tally has been uh, a servant of the national team procedure a long time. And it's been a, a big player in this country for a long, long time and will continue to be. I'm sure he won't be put off by booze um, from a crowd. So. You'd have to ask him that question, I thought. Okay, uh...